Just like all TLs, typical liberals, Hunter Biden is now playing the victim card. It always comes down to that. Now, in a lawsuit he filed against the IRS, Biden is claiming that whistleblowers targeted and sought to embarrass him. Now, Hunter, I think you did that all by yourself with the coke and the prostitutes. Now, the guy who gets hundreds of thousands of dollars from anonymous buyers for his blow art wants $1,000 in damages for each and every unauthorized disclosure of his tax returns. Joining me now, Chairman of the House Oversight Committee, James Comer. Congressman, good to see you tonight. Now, Hunter's attorneys are saying that the whistleblowers do not have the traditional immunity from civil suit because of their supposed wrongful conduct against him. Your response? Well, that's simply not true. Uh, the whistleblowers have protected whistleblower protection. Democrats in Congress used to care about that. They used to file bills and pass bills to protect whistleblowers and encourage whistleblowers to come forward. That's exactly what the two brave whistleblowers did who testified before my House Oversight Committee. But what we're seeing now in, in real life form is witness intimidation by the Biden legal team. They want to send a message to any other potential whistleblowers out there. Do not cooperate with the House Oversight Committee. Do not cooperate with this investigation or we will sue you and uh, see that you're liable and have to pay out your entire life savings for simply telling the truth. Uh, Congressman, also on a separate note, Abby Lowell, um, one of Hunter Biden's attorneys, is out there claiming that you're being dishonest in one of your requests um, uh, about this February issue of Hunter's bank records, which you claim that they never responded to. But he is saying that Hunter's legal team did respond the next day, saying, uh, in part, I would offer to sit with you and your staff to see whether Mr. Biden has information that may inform some legitimate legislative purpose and be helpful to the committee, but you never responded to that offer. So what's the real story here, Congressman? The real story is we asked for bank records and he wanted to come in and offered to patronize and waste taxpayer dollars by tying up legal fees, wondering why we, he couldn't understand why we were requesting him. He wanted to know the legislative intent when everyone in America knows that the Biden family's taken in over $20 million from foreign oligarchs and they can't say a single thing they did to earn this money. So uh, if Joe Biden wants to do what he said he would do when he was running for president and be the most transparent president in the history of America, he can comply with our simple request. If he's innocent, then he'll make us look bad. But instead of complying with our request and being transparent with his personal finances, he set up a war room in the White House. He's suing whistleblowers who have bravely come forward to tell the truth about how their credible investigation was obstructed, and they continue to do everything in their power to obstruct this investigation. Well, meanwhile, we have, uh... We have, it looks like Hakeem Jeffries is saying that there's a civil war, Congressman, brewing over uh, the impeachment question. Check this out. There are no facts uh, on the record to suggest that President Biden engaged in impeachable offenses. This is an illegitimate impeachment inquiry. It's a product of the House Republican civil war. Civil war? Quickly, Congressman, your reaction. Well, there's no civil war. We're having uh, a lot of challenging discussions about how to fund the government moving forward. But with respect to the impeachment inquiry, there's overwhelming support uh, in the House of Representatives among the Republican conference to uh, conduct this investigation. We've proven uh, mountains of evidence that uh, this family has broken many laws and that Joe Biden was front and center in these schemes. And there's also support in the Senate. Jim Jordan and I spoke to the senators at their weekly luncheon last week, and a majority of the senators yeah. were excited and encouraging about our inv investigation. Well, Mitch McConnell cares about Ukraine. Congressman, good to see you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.